Hi, uh, welcome to this uh, second lesson of the R course. In uh, this lesson, I will show you how to plot uh, your data, how to create uh, basic plots with uh, R and R Commander, and uh, how to tweak uh, the option of uh, the basic plot function. For uh, this lesson, I created a simple file uh, which is uh, called plot example, and uh, you can download this file from uh, the home page of the R course on uh, the site www.fabiovernesi.net slash R course. Uh, if you open the file, uh, you can see that there is uh, a times, uh, so 1 to 20, and three variables. Now we'll show you how to use this file to create some plot. Um, so now we can open R and uh, R commander, so load package, scroll down, select R commander, click OK, and here is R commander. To open uh, the Excel file, you can go to data, import data from Excel. Now you have to select the name of your data. I will, I will say plot uh, data, sorry. I already have on, on my desktop, so uh, the file is plot example. Click and open. And here is the string that says that he has opened the, the file. So if, if you want to uh, take a look at the file, you can use the function print that we used before. Print data. Submit the line, and here you can see your data frame. So there is four columns. First is name times, and then three variables. If you want, you can also use the function str, which is a function that basically uh, show you uh, not the entire data set, but uh, a little summary of your data set. So if you submit this line, you see here that it show you the type of uh, of, um, of object. So in this case, it's a data frame with 20 observations and four variables. And then you can see that it shows you also the name of each column. And this is useful if you want to select the column, uh, etc. And uh, you have to select, uh, for instance, the column times. You can click uh, data, dollar, in this case, times. And then if you submit the line, you see that creates this vector. Now, to plot, uh, create a simple scatter plot, you can use the function plot, which is this function over here, plot, or you can uh, use the embedded function in R Commander. So if you click on graphs, scatter plot, if you select the two variables, so I want to times and variable one, and then I can name, uh, I can give the, a label to the x-axis, so in this case it's times, and the, the y-axis, so in this case is variable 1, and click OK. And this is the plot. Of course, not every time you want to use the function scatter plot uh, and create uh, uh, the plot uh, that you saw before. So uh, sometimes you want to just have uh, a simple plot with the two variables and some names, a title, etc. So you can, as I said, you can use the function plot. So in this case, I see I, I type function plot and uh, I have to select the two variable. So in my case, it's data times and data variable one. If I submit, you can see that it creates a simple plot. Of course, this is very simple, so it doesn't have the labels, the pro proper labels, and uh, it doesn't have a title. And uh, this is the, the default symbol, which is a, an empty circle. If you want to tweak a bit the, the default plot, you can add some option. If you want to see uh, what are these options, the available options from the function plot, you can 
uh, just uh, type help and within uh, round brackets help plot in this case you want to uh, see the help page of the function plot so if I submit the line it opens a browser windows and here you can see uh, this is the function plot this is the, the help page of the function so here you can see that the, the basic usage of the function is uh, with two, um, two variables uh, like, uh, like I, I showed you before but there are also a lot of, uh, of, um, of options for, for instance you can, if you can uh, add a label to the two axes uh, you can add a title or, or you can uh, uh, instead of uh, plotting points you can plot lines etc so if you if you want to for instance add a, a label you can use the, the function xlab and within quotation mark you can put uh, the the label of the axis so in my case it's times and then ylab and within quotation mark variable 1 if you submit this line here you can see that you have the two labels. You can also add uh, a title to your plot so just type main and within quotation mark title. If you submit you see there is a title over here. Of course you can also tweak the plot in order to have a different symbol for instance for, for each each uh, couple of variable plotted. So if you want you can use the option PCH and uh, you can use 16 which is a, a filled uh, circle and CX which is basically it's an option for the size of the circle in my case I want to 1 so if you plot you can see that there are filled circles and uh, uh, basically the same size as before. If I want to increase the size I can just put 2 and here you can see the, the size increase. I can also change the color put call equal for instance red I submit this line and you see there are red circles. The option uh, PCH is very important uh, if you want uh, for instance to uh, plot uh, multiple variables uh, in in the same uh, in the same graph. So, for instance, if you want, if I want to plot uh, uh, both the variable one and the variable two, I can use the function points, which will add uh, points to uh, the previous created plot. So, in this case, is data times and data var two, and then maybe I can use the same title etc PCH now I can use a different symbol so for instance I can I can give the program a, a symbol that I want to use in this case I want to use a plus so I, in within quotation mark I use plus the size I want two as well and the color blue put the equal sign here okay close the bracket and then I submit both those lines because the first create the plot and the second adds the point if you submit you see that you, you plotted both variables one is uh, with fill circle and the second one is with the plus sign Of course, as I showed you before, the plot function is not able only to plot a, a normal scatter plot with points, but is able also to plot lines. So, for instance, if I want to uh, plot lines, I can just type the word type, which is an option, and within quotation mark, the letter L, which stands for lines. If I submit, you can see that you plot lines instead of points. And if I want to add some, some points to this plot, I can just use the function that you saw before. So in this case, it also plot points. But if you 
want to add lines instead of point, instead of using function points, you can use the function lines. So if I submit those two, as you can see here, plus both variable, but in lines. If you want to compare two different plot, you can plot both of them, one next to the other in the same windows. To do that, you can use the function par and then create with the function m mf row a windows with uh, one row and two columns in this case and then um, create the two plots that you want to to use so in this case i want to use this plot so i just copy and paste this and then i want to use another plot with the variable two so i just uh, copy and paste the, the, the line before, just change here var2, which is the name of the second columns, and then I just change the title, variable2, I change the two titles so I can, I can see the difference, and then uh, the symbol is correct, uh, but the, I want a blue color here, and then I want points and non line. I just cancel those two and then I submit this three line with the first creates the the two windows so I I basically I'm saying to R that I want um, a, a grid with one row and two columns and in each of these two columns uh, it has to put a plot so in this case if I submit the output is this one as you can see there are one row and two different columns so you can just imagine the two columns separated by in the middle so this is the first column with the first plot and this is the second column with the second plot and here you can you can compare both plot of course i also i, I can also put them uh, one above the other so instead of uh, creating um, a grid with uh, one row and two column i can create a grid with uh, two row and one column and the difference is just this one as you can see here now i will show you how to create a, a basic legend for uh, for your plot so let's suppose that you want to plot two variable in the same uh, graph so let's just return to the plot that we used before so we want to create uh, um, a plot with uh, the variable 1 which is this one with red circles and you want to add the points from the variable 2 so in this case data times data and variable 2 uh, and then pch uh, let's use 15 which is uh, a field square cx2 color blue let's close if you submit those two lines you can see that there are two uh, data set the first is uh, field uh, circles uh, red and the second one with uh, blue squares uh, of course um, if you want to uh, add a legend uh, say the legend uh, should uh, show the two symbol and say uh, at which variable each symbol uh, um, it refers to so in this case I want that the legend has two um, two names so I want to create this vector with the two names which is my case in variable one and variable 2 so in this case I created a vector but instead of being a vector of uh, two number it's a vector of two strings so if you submit just the vector you will see that the vector has two uh, string names in it so 
and this is the uh, will be the two names of uh, of the legend to create uh, uh, physically the legend you you can use the function the function legend uh, the first two number are the uh, x and y of uh, uh, basically the coordinates of uh, the the box uh, of the legend so in my case i will be 141 and then option legend for selecting the name of the two objects in my case I, I use the vector created before then I can select the two symbols for the, the two elements of uh, the legend so in my case it's 16 for the variable one because the variable one is the symbol 16 and 15 for the variable 2. You can use the function pt.cex for giving the, the size of each point, in my case is 2, and then the function color to give the color of the two symbols. In my case, because they are two symbols, I have to create a vector with the first color for the first symbol and the second color for the second symbol. In my case, they are red and blue. So I close. If you submit those three lines, as you can see here, there is a little legend show you that the, the circle is for variable 1 and the square is for variable 2. If you don't know where the legend would be, you don't want to calculate the coordinate because of course in this case it's very simple to calculate the, the two coordinates for the the box of the legend because in this case it's 1 and 40 of course uh, the, this this graph could be uh, very bigger than this um, so if you don't want to um, to calculate the two variable in this case 1 and 41 you can use the function locator so you can use function locator 1 in this case you can interactively um, select the position of the legend so if you submit these three lines as you can see here, there, are, there is no legend, but the, uh, instead of, a cro uh, of an arrow, there is a, a little cross. So if you click here, it will put interactively the legend of the plot. This is a very useful function. You can also add some text to your plot uh, with uh, the same uh, method, uh, the same interactive method used before with the function locator so if I use the function text locator I just put two saying that in my I want to uh, plot the same text twice so in my case I just type test I submit all this line and as you can see here there is the, the little cross meaning that I have to interactively gave the position in my case of the legend and then it remains across because I have to give the position of the two test so I just click here and here and as you can see it plot the two test so this is the end of uh, the second lesson in this lesson I talk about uh, plotting in general and uh, of other little function to add uh, uh, some tweaks uh, to your plot. Uh, the next lesson will be all about uh, spatial data, how to uh, load uh, um, a table and transform it into a spatial object, how to uh, load the raster from shapefile or ASCII grid, and how to plot your spatial data. See you next time then.